Hello and welcome back to Thursday's episode of Scarlet Scoop. I'm your host, Elizabeth Suarez. Today we'll tell you more about a new device that could help people know when they've had too much to drink, learn more about the center where older adults, college students, and young students come together, and give you more information on the Standing Rock Solidarity event held on campus Wednesday. It's all coming up in today's top stories. Native Americans from all over the nation, activists, and celebrities are attempting to stop the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline from being built on the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe's sacred land in North Dakota since July. In response to these events, Socialist Students Columbus held an event in solidarity with the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe on campus Wednesday evening. Lantern TV was there and brings you more. The reason that we thought that was important to bring here to OSU is because um, there are a lot of ways that we can support and stand in solidarity with the tribes, even here from Ohio. Um, one of the things that was talked about today was that Ohio sent 37 of our state troopers to Standing Rock. Um, and what we know is that there have been heavily militarized attacks on the people who, there, who are defending their water there. Um, you know, they have been maced, they've been beaten, they've been arrested. Um, and so, that's a, that's a big deal that we've sent Ohio troopers to be a part of that and so it's important for us to call um, on Ohio and on, um, and on our governor and on other representatives to recall those state troopers, bring them back, to not be complicit in what's going on at the Dakota Access Pipeline at, at Standing Rock. How do you know when you've had too much to drink? A team of researchers from the College of Social Work and College of Engineering is developing a technology that aims to help answer that question. Lantern TV sat down with researcher Dr. John Clapp of the College of Social Work to learn more. It takes a, um, a reading from your sweat and it figures out how much alcohol vapors in, in uh, your sweat and then it converts that into what's called um, transdermal alcohol content which basically kind of maps onto what blood alcohol content is. So if you had a breathalyzer, you know, you get pulled over by the police, um, and you blow into the breathalyzer, what that is is taking alcohol out of your lungs that comes out of your breath, same idea, now it's coming out of your sweat. We're not only just trying to learn about it, but the idea is eventually we'd come up with uh, an app that would help students drink more safely. We're not telling people don't drink. We're trying to help them find the safest strategies to drink um, and stay out of trouble. For some college students, it's rare to regularly spend time with someone outside of one's age group. At the Champion Intergenerational Center, relationships are made among the young and old. Linder TV brings you more on the impact these connections have on people of all ages. We're an organization made up of three different nonprofits. There's OSU, there's National Church Residences, which provides adult day services to older adults who have a variety of different health needs. And then there's Columbus Early Learning Center, which, provide, which is a preschool and uh, provides early care and learning for children between the ages of six weeks and right before kindergarten. The National Church Residents and CELC are pretty obvious about what they do. OSU's role is we have students come in um, from a variety of dis different disciplines and they fulfill various different um, placements. So we've got social work students who are here for a year, we have some students who come in for a semester. And OSU's role is led by the colleges of medicine, social work, and nursing. And so we, three organizations go about their business. And then we have lots of intergenerational programming. We have an amazing group of OSU students. This semester, there are 25 students who are here on a regular basis, in addition to probably an additional 50 or 60 who have come in for one time. And it's fascinating to hear about their journeys in life, but especially pairing them up with the older adults and with the children and seeing three generations of our society that don't usually get together. And what I tell people and what I tell every student, though they don't always believe it, is this is really a magical place. It's a very like uh, rewarding experience to like be, be able to like go see the kids and stop by and um, hang out with them. And they like know your name. They're like, oh, Miss Julia, can read us a book? and I'll go play with them. Um, building, I think, the relationships I've had with the kids 
is like really fun and rewarding. That's all we have for you on today's Scarlet Scoop. Be sure to tune in throughout the week and check out thelantry.com for more campus news. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.